What's up, ladies and guys? Nude Effective here, Twitch streamer, YouTuber. You can actually find me on twitch.tv slash neodefective every Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday for your viewing pleasure. Usually during the PM hours, so you should just go over there, hang out with us, come chill, chat. It's gonna be fun, good times. So the point of this video is that you want to increase your vocal range. And what better way to do it than to grab yourself a nifty XLR microphone. It doesn't have to be this sweet, sweet microphone I have here, this Audio-Technica 2035. It could be anyone, right? You just upgraded from a USB, such as a Blue Yeti. Now, what you also grabbed, or I hope you did, is a USB mixer, such as the Yamaha MG10XU that I have. I actually went to Los Angeles Recording School and I got my Recording Engineering Certificate. What I learned there, I'm actually trying to share with you, at least to some extent. More importantly, I'm going to just teach you a, just a very minuscule, scratching the surface of signal path once you plug this thing in and get started. So you're an up and coming streamer and you wanna increase the overall range of your vocals. This mixer is one that I'm going to suggest to you because it gives you control over your highs, your mids, your lows, and it has a compressor, which is probably your more invaluable tool because it's going to do exactly what it sounds like, which is compress your audio. So it's gonna bring down your noise ceiling and bring up your noise floor so that you don't pop your microphone and that you also don't have to hear any background noise such as keyboard clicks or fans that might be keeping your room cool. You're gonna need those during any kind of streaming session, especially if you're doing 24 hour sessions, you crazy, you savages. I hope to one day do that as I'm also up and coming. So let's just get into it. You're going to plug the mixer in first via USB, right? Into your computer. Then a prompt is gonna come up asking you to download some software. You're just gonna click yes through that entire thing. Then you're going to restart your computer. Now make sure you have your XLR microphone plugged in to your mixer, preferably line one, just to keep everything kind of uniform. And you're going to open up Streamlabs OBS. And as you can see, I already have the audio going, right? You see it going crazy. You see the bars jumping and that's what you wanna see. That's how you know everything's working properly. So you click on this little cog wheel right here on Streamlabs, okay? This is just what I'm using. So use this as an example or just kind of take it with you and know the software that you're working with. Click on properties and you're going to see device, right? It's the only thing that's going to pop up. The device you're going to be using, of course, is the one that's already selected, which is MGXU. That's the software that you downloaded. So make sure you click that, hit done, and you might not see any audio popping up. And there's a reason for that. And that's because on your mixing board, you're going to have to click two things. One is your phantom power button. The other is two channels over and it's called line USB. From that point on, you should actually start to see your microphone bar jumping. So the two knobs you're going to be wanting to keep at a neutral range, pretty much a majority of the time that you're streaming is the gain, which I have set right to where this little square is I guess you can call it and then also your peak knob which I put at this little triangle here what you don't want is to see any peaks you don't want to see anything in the red if this little light ever goes red that means you're too loud you're speaking too loud or that you just have your overall volume too loud on your channel so this channel being line one and everything's going to be numbered it's going to say line one so try to keep your compressor at the 10 o'clock range and i would suggest putting your highs over to the three o'clock setting and your mid try to keep it pointed at 12 o'clock or somewhere just maybe a smudge higher, but you're gonna also wanna bring your low over to the three o'clock setting. Your effects, don't really worry about that. That's going to be your effects volume, depending on which one you are using, because there are 24 effects here and we'll get into that in a second. Your pan, you never really wanna mess with that. That's gonna be your stereo setting left and right. Keep it in the middle. You're gonna wanna be able to hear on both speakers, not limit your audio range in any way. So when you do use the effects on this mixer, you're going to choose them with the little knob and then click the knob in. And then from there, 
there's this little effects button. You hit, hit that. that. And, and then, then you, you obviously, obviously have some effects. effects. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you saw, please show me some love and leave a thumbs up down below. Also hit that subscribe button because you're going to be getting a lot more helpful streaming tips from me as I go along on this journey. And if you want to join me on that journey, just make sure you also go over to twitch.tv slash neodefective and visit me. Remember, every Tuesday, Saturday and Sunday, I'll be there. Can't wait to see you. Neodefective. Signing out.